Repositioning a child enrolled in the PROSPECT trial from prone to supine must be done carefully to ensure that the child remains safe and comfortable throughout the reposition. Prior to repositioning the child, the bedside care team should carefully review the PROSPECT prone positioning checklist. The number of team members required should be determined and all supplies required should be gathered and brought to the bedside. The procedure should be carefully described to the child prior to and throughout the procedure. The bedside team should ensure the security of the endotracheal tube, all vascular lines, and all other invasive lines. Any unnecessary tubes or lines are disconnected. However, the child should remain connected to the ventilator throughout the turn. Consideration should be given to the need for additional analgesia sedation and or neuromuscular blockade to ensure the child's comfort and safety throughout the turn. If the child is being fed, consideration should be given to holding feeds until the child is settled in the supine position. Immediately prior to turning the child, the team should clearly discuss the roles, with the bedside RN directing the turn and the team member at the head of the bed ensuring the safety of the endotracheal tube throughout the turn. All cushions or positioning materials are removed. New linens are placed over the child and a mummy effect is created by tucking the edges of the full sheet under the child. Using all linens under the child, the bedside team slides the child to the edge of the bed towards the ventilator. The child is then turned 45 degrees away from the ventilator. The team pauses to reassess the child for comfort and physiologic stability. The child is then positioned supine. Throughout the turn, the child's head should be kept in alignment with their body, avoiding hyperextension, keeping arms next to the torso with the toes of the upper leg pointing in the direction of the turn. The child is assessed to ensure that nothing is pressing against their skin, that their skin is not pinched in any way, and that linens under the child are free from wrinkles or folds. Any monitors or devices that were disconnected are reconnected. A pressure relieving cushion is placed under the head. The heels are positioned off the bed with an appropriately sized cushion or pressure relieving device such that the heels are floating off the bed. Positioning devices should only have one layer of linen between the device or cushion and the child. The head of bed should then be elevated 30 degrees. 